been it's been quite some time since I did my last video for YouTube but I figured I should get started again because I have a bunch of new goals and a couple of ideas for video posts so I just thought I would start with this one because it's something that a lot of people have been asking about even though my hair is really curly I just love that like sleek blowout look especially with a lot of volume but I find that when I straighten my hair with like a flat iron it loses a lot of its shape and it just like lays really flat. And I got my hair blown out at the dry bar, which is dangerously right down the street from me. I got a, this amazing blowout and I typically go for like one of the straighter looks, but my friend convinced me to go for like one of the curlier, bouncier looks. The lady who did it used one of the dry bar curling irons to do it and I loved the result of it. A couple weeks later I was trying to recreate this dry bar blowout look at home and it was not going well so I went down to the store and like as a birthday present to myself I bought the um I think it's called a three-day bender curling iron from dry bar and I was so excited to use it and I brought it home plugged it right in and hated it. I couldn't figure it out and then I was gonna return it and it was just confusing and it was twisting and it wasn't like any curling iron that I used before and I'm not really that great with curling irons in general so I was going to return it but I kept it for a couple days and I was like I will give it another shot and the second time it went a little better and the third time I was kind of getting the hang of it and now it's you know it's not so hard at all and a lot of people on Instagram was asking me how I was getting my hair to curl the way it was so I thought that'd be a great video now, right now, A, I don't have any makeup on, I know, yay, and I've been running around so I've just had my hair in like this weird ponytail thing. So I'm going to go and wash my hair and I'm going to blow it dry so it's, you'll see it, it in its crazy fluffy state and then I'll show you how I use the curling iron. I'm back in, I put on makeup, I took a shower, I blew dry my hair, so this is like what it looks like when I've just blown it dry, like haven't straightened it at all. Um, it's been, I guess, like 30, 40 minutes since I blew it dry, so it's like lost a little bit of the volume, which is good because it settles down a little bit. It's kind of crazy. First, I use this Julep top coat, which I put on my hair before I blow dry. One of these regular clippy things, elastic ponytails that don't leave creases because I'll section off the hair that I've already curled and I don't want to get like extra creases. Here is, this is the dry bar curling iron right here. does have a clamp. I know some people prefer to use wands, but A, I'm like really afraid to burn my finger off, and B, I kind of like the clamp because I think it gives me a little bit more stability, and I'm not a pro at curling my hair, so it helps. The cool thing is that the barrel itself spins, so you know with a normal curling iron you have to like roll the whole thing up and like it's getting tangled the wire spins and then the barrel spins up itself so it's kind of a little bit different in that regard now it's tricky about the spinning barrel which I learned the first time which is why I didn't like it at first was that sometimes my hair would get stuck right here and it might even happen like in this video and it's okay you just have to like get used to it and once you work out your system it's a lot better so let's get started. I typically start by sectioning off like right below my ears. I do three sections, so below the ears to the crown of my head and then the hair on the top. I divide it in the section in the back halfway. So you have two sections like this. And the key is that depending on which side of your face you're on, you're going to always curl it away from you. So I'll start here. I'll take this and because I haven't straightened my hair, I typically like pull it down one time to sort of like get any flyaways away. And then I'll clip it. And then roll it like that. And I make sure that the that little end at the bottom is tucked in and not like at the bottom because you can see that it is this nice little curl. And I just keep going like that all throughout my hair. Maybe hold it for a few seconds and then release. You have this cute little, like, Shirley Temple girl thing. So 
the top section I think is the most important part because that's the part that you need to like lay smooth and flat since it'll be covering the rest of your hair too. And now normally I start on this side of my hair because it's easier but because this is so thick I always just start on the little side to just get it over with. And release it here, really simple. Just twist it right on up. And this last section. Now this is the most important piece because this is on my dominant side and it's going to be the one that ultimately pulls all the hair back. And so I just want to make sure it's nice and perfect. Smooth it down. Now obviously you don't want to go around looking like this because this is not a good look. Just all these like Shirley Temple ringlets. I like to let my hair completely cool so I'll just like walk around, put on my makeup. So we'll see you in a few minutes when I get my hair to a cool temperature and then I'll show you what comes next. Okay, I'm back. So the last little bit is taking your brush and brushing out your curls. And the first time I did this, I was so freaked out that I was going to ruin this and I was going to turn out bad, but it actually just looks a lot better. So I just softly brush it all the way through. And then what you end up with is nice, like really soft, big curls like this. And I like to, you can sort of, you know, style it a little bit by just pulling a section out and like letting it twist up on its own. It, it all clumped together here, so you don't want like that. You unicurl and just pull it out a section or two out and just create some more definition of the curls themselves. So that is how I curl my hair with the dry bar three-day bender. Also, don't forget to leave a comment with what you think of the curling iron, if you've ever gone to dry bar before, and any suggestions you might have for videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe.